Welcome back artists. This week we're doing a fun self-portrait project which is drawing ourselves as Legos. So I did myself as an art teacher and you can see I'm wearing my red EAC apron that I always wear at school with paint and a paintbrush. Um, so you're gonna be drawing yourself. I'm gonna show you how to draw the Lego person shape and then you'll be adding details on it to make it a self-portrait of you. So think about how you wanna represent yourself. Are you playing soccer? Are you cooking? Are you, how do you wanna show yourself as your Lego? Okay, go ahead and get a piece of paper, a pencil, if you wanna outline in Sharpie, and then whatever you wanna color with. I did colored pencil, but you can do marker, crayon, whatever you wanna use. So go ahead and grab your supplies, and let's do this drawing portrait of yourself as a Lego. Okay, artists, let's go ahead and get started on these Lego drawings self-portraits. I'm going to draw mine with Sharpie, but again, I encourage you to use pencil and then outline with Sharpie after you're finished so that we can erase any mistakes we have. All right, so I'm going to start with the head and we're going to make a block, a square that has rounded edges. Okay, once you have your head drawn, we're gonna put the little piece on the top where you can stick hats and hair and other stuff in on your regular Legos. And I'm gonna be sure that I'm always kind of keeping a rounded edge on these because remember those pieces are round when you're really playing with Legos. Okay, I'm gonna make a neck coming down off of the head. So I want you to do two short vertical lines coming down off the head. And the next we're gonna do is the upper body. So I want you to draw a horizontal line connecting those two vertical necklines. And I want you to curve down when you get to the end of the head. Perfect, so you have your shoulders. Okay, I'm gonna come straight down to make the shirt or the top of the body. So go ahead and come down on both sides. It's okay if you have two little pieces hanging off, that's where we're gonna do the shirt sleeves. So go ahead and complete the shirt at the bottom. And again, if you're using pencil and you wanna change this into a dress or some other kind of outfit, you can erase this line later and color it in. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add the sleeves. So go for those little pieces that you left hanging off the side. And we're gonna to continue to come out and make a rounded shape on the bottom. So it's kind of like a triangle or almost like a party hat cone. So I want you to come out and then we're gonna round it into the shirt. So now you have your shirt sleeves. All right, let's go ahead and add arms under those shirt sleeves. So I'm going to leave one side just attached to the body, but I want you to come out from the shirt sleeve and come down and over for the arm. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna come down and over and just go ahead and attach it to that shirt. All right, let's go ahead and add the hands. So remember, Legos have those little hook hands. So I want you to come and make two little lines coming out from each arm for the wrist. And then we're gonna make a rainbow shape, a rainbow arch shape. So I'm gonna come out, kind of connect those, and come down and make an arch. And I'm gonna do it on both sides. So connect them, and then come down and make an arch. Lovely. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and complete these hooks. So you're just gonna loop around the bottom and make it have a little bit more form. All right, so you have your two hands then. Um, you might wanna put something in the hand so you can see how then I just drew on top of my hand the paintbrush and then the easel attached to it. So you might need to move your hands if you're doing like a baseball bat or something, you wanna add it in a different position. Okay, let's go ahead and put a line coming down straight from the shirt and we're actually gonna go on a, we're gonna come all the way down. Okay, so you can check and measure it. It should be a little bit longer than the top of the body. 
So just make sure you don't make those legs too short. And then come straight across. And then go ahead and loop it back up. Stop before you get all the way to the top. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and connect these. And then I'm gonna put another connector down here because if you look at your Lego pants, sometimes they have, that piece is still connected together. All right, and then I'm gonna draw a line here where the legs would bend. And then I'm gonna put one last line for the shoes. So at the bottom of the feet. Okay, great. So now you can go ahead and decorate it. I'll go ahead and put a face on mine so you can see the face. So on my Lego, I did two circle eyes. And then I left a little white spot in the middle. So I'm gonna color it in, but just leave a little bit of white in the middle. And then I did a big smiling face for mine because when I'm teaching art, I'm very happy. So depending on what you're doing, but I'm gonna go ahead and make a big a smile you can leave it like that or if you want to do an open mouth go ahead and connect it down and complete it and then I did some little teeth and a tongue and then you can go ahead and add hair so I kind of did my hair in a ponytail but you might want to do just hair around the head so I'll go ahead and show how I did mine I just kind of came up and around so you could leave it like that or if you have long hair you could bring it down or if you wanna draw how I did like my hair up, I went to the top and kinda of had it come down and around into the back. Okay, so now you can add any kind of details you want and then color it in. So I'm gonna move mine over and show you my finished one. So I did the traditional yellow. You can pick out your favorite outfit if you want. And then go ahead and add the details to show us that it's a self-portrait or a portrait of you. And if you want to show us what you are working on, we would love to see. Go ahead and post us a picture. And I will see you guys next week for another art project. Have a good one. Bye.